Today we're testing the new Breezer suit by Swanky. Hello, I'm Griff Reese. Welcome to Winning Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now today it's pretty much the first day of beekeeping for me this year. We're down on the Ipbury and we're going to put some supers on, put some Queenie Slurers on and check some bees. And I've got this brand new Swinty Breezer suit and we're going to test that out today, see what it's like. So let's have a look at it. Well packaged. So that's the veil. And straight away. That's a different type of veil. I've never seen a veil that shape before. So it's obviously got some re restructuring or strengthening up here to stop this from folding. So it's com kept completely away from your face. Quite like that. I've never seen that in a suit before. That's pretty good. And then the suit itself feels quite heavy. It's fully vented down the back, vented on the front, it's not vented on the cuffs, both sides, so that's probably going to just give you something to put your gloves over etc and that's probably easier to get tight rather than get the full vented suit because this is a different type of vented suit than what I've uh, used in the past. This has got some kind of plastic, thick plastic or rubber mesh inside the material. And that's probably why this feels quite heavy. Down the legs then, you haven't got any vent, did you? And that's quite good really, because this is where you tend to rip the suit when you're walking through brambles. So they've obviously thought of that and they've put some re uh, a stronger fabric in here for this mesh not to rip. Same on the knee pads, and then same on the bottom. Well, because with all these vented suits, they are absolutely brilliant. I'll never go back to a, a, a normal conventional suit. I'll always be uh, a full vented suit from now on. But the only downside of a vented suit is bramble is definitely not your friend, and they, they do tear a bit quicker compared to normal suits, but that's just the name of the game, so Swanky they've tried to reinforce some of the tear points or the high point pressure points on the suit to see try and prolong this life quite like the colour as well like a tannish colour, that looks pretty good so first impressions, I'm quite impressed with it, I quite like the look of it I'm going to get the hood on this and start the bee work or we'll get right into field testing it Definitely feels different to my uh, other types of vented suits. Definitely feels a bit heavier, but the material is totally different. I've uh, I've seen these suits before with that rubber thick insert inside, so it's obviously going to give you that sting-proof element in the suit. And this is, I suppose, a hybrid of a normal conventional suit and a vented suit all put into one and Swainty being the company they are, they're a very advanced beekeeping company we've got a lot of Swainty kit in the extracting room and uh, Swainty is probably one of the leading companies out there worldwide when it comes to beekeeping kit so I would have thought they've put a lot of R&D research and development into this suit definitely feels pretty good let's get the veil on, I can feel the veil on the back Veil definitely feels bigger, and the visibility is really good. There's just no way that's going to fail on you. As you can see, that is just reinforced that way. That's pretty good. Pockets there, big zip pockets. 
on the side we've got a high drive tool pocket yeah we've got a hive tool pocket there quite like that oh, I just noticed we've got zips going up the side there so you don't have to take your boots off to get your suit on and off that's very good you've got elasticated and velcro on the cuffs that's pretty good get them really tight because the bees will get in there otherwise yeah first impressions I really like the look of this out definitely totally different to what's on the market especially with this fail looks totally different to what's currently on the market so let's put the gloves on like the smoker and get into some bees pollen in there and the queen's even laying at the end frame bit slow putting a super on this one this one was ready about two weeks ago We've done half the hives already, haven't had a single sting through the suit. Few of the bees have tried to get me, they haven't penetrated the suit. So the suit is pretty much sting proof, thought it would be when I saw it. Very very comfortable, even though it's a bit heavier than my other type Venti suit. Feels really good when I'm working the bees. Doesn't feel like I'm overcome with weight or anything. Visibility is great in the veil, looking up. This is just ne it's just never touching my face, which is good because sometimes on the suit that can fall back in, and the suit the veil just touching your nose and you get stung on the nose, which is quite quite painful. Can't see this being a problem with this suit. Looks pretty good, and yeah, thumbs up for, for me. Obviously, time will tell. I'm gonna give this suit now a good run through right throughout the year, and if any snag does come up. I'll make sure that I say it, but looking at it, I don't think anything's gonna go wrong with this out. It's very well made, a lot of engineering gone into it. I think just goes to prove that technology and beekeeping, we're going ne into next generation kit, next generation suits, next generation equipment, and this is what next generation beekeeping suits look like. I think five, six years time from now, no one's gonna be wearing those conventional suits. It's gonna be, this type of suit so if you're thinking of buying one of these suits so far it's a thumbs up for me now if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content then please subscribe to my youtube channel i try my best to put a new video out every week thanks for watching 
and don't forget share this video with your friends on Facebook see you at the next one